guys and welcome to my video all about black comic book authors. So this video was originally going to be a comic book haul but quite frankly it did not feel right to be posting a video all about comic books and have most of the authors be white or at least 99% of them if not 100% of them were white because before this month I was trying to diversify my reading with my novels but I never even considered comic books and comic book authors and diverse comic book authors in that way and obviously that was completely wrong and I'm now working to fix that and I thought I would share a few of the ones I've discovered recently with you guys in case you guys want to diversify your comic book authors as well obviously I'm not going to list all of them I will leave links down below as well to um, articles that I use to find these authors which have a lot more on there and also I will be leaving links down below to a lot of Black Lives Matter stuff so you can check it out if you want to sign petitions or donate or anything like that so let's get into it. The first one I want to talk about is Eve Ewing. Now Eve Ewing has written Ironheart and is currently writing Champions. Now Ironheart is a story that I have fallen in love with as of last month because this is all about the 16 year old Riri Williams who is a rumoured to be in the MCU or at least coming to the MCU and RDJ is really pushing for her and B she's a badass because she's a 16 year old black girl who is now at MIT and reverse engineered an Iron Man suit in her garage. She's even got an AI and everything. She is absolutely brilliant. She's a hero but she makes mistakes. She's also unashamedly nerdy and also cosplays and she's absolutely brilliant. I thoroughly enjoy her. Meanwhile the Champions is Eve's current project and that project is covering Riri in her teenage superhero team called the Champions. I currently don't know much about it because it is currently coming out in single issues and I usually wait for the bind up but I will definitely be buying it as soon as it comes out. Second person I want to mention is Reginald Hudlin who has done loads and loads and loads of Black Panther comics. I would recommend Who is Black Panther and also the complete collection because that just gives you A who Black Panther is if you want more after the um, film and B it also gives you a huge amount of stories in a big bind up and I'm pretty sure as well Reginald Huntlin's I could be entirely wrong on this one. I'm pretty sure it's Reginald Hudlin's Black Panther stories is what they based the film on. So if you love the film, definitely check out Reginald. Even if you didn't like the film and want to know more about Black Panther, check out check out Reginald's work. Third person I'm talking about is Brian Edward Hill, and he has done loads of stuff in the Marvel Universe and outside of the Marvel Universe. And I'm currently only going to mention three though because just so I don't drag on for hours but I highly recommend you look him up on Comixology if you search on Comixology any of these authors that I mention it will come up with everything they've ever worked on which is really really useful when you are trying to find new authors or you find an author you really like and you want to find everything they've ever written. The first thing he's written that I am going to mention is Killmonger and I'm so excited to buy and read this comic because it's all about Killmonger and I was incredibly interested in his character while watching the Black Panther film and that contrast between him and T'Challa because Killmonger was raised in America whereas obviously T'Challa was raised in Wakanda in Africa and it's such an interesting contrast between the two and I'm really excited to see a comic just based entirely on Killmonger and what exactly that means for the character. And then outside of the Marvel verse he has also done a comic called Romulus. Now Romulus is a comic all about one woman trying to take down the secret order of Romulus because they are controlling the world. Admittedly I did have this on my radar because it's called Romulus and being Star Trek nerd it just made me think it was maybe a Star Trek comic but it is not but it still sounds like a really good fun time so I will be picking that one up as well. The last two people I do want to talk about you will have probably have heard of but I'm going to mention them anyway simply because I probably should because they are such big authors but you never know who hasn't heard of them in the comic book world so I thought I'd mention them here. First one I'm going to mention is Tana Hesse Coates. Now obviously he's done a lot of work in the Black Lives Matter movement in terms of books but I want to talk about his comics briefly because that's what this video is about. Now his comics he's done two main big runs. The first one being Black Panther and Nation Under Our Feet which came out around the same time as the film and 
some people don't like it some people think it's a bit wordy but for me i really really enjoyed it it's all about t'challa trying to keep control of wakanda while some of the dora are fighting against him and he's trying to save shuri as well who was hit by the children of thanos i want to say if i remember right it has admittedly been a few years since i last read it but shuri either way is dying and is currently in a stasis field so t'challa is trying to keep control of his country and save his sister and it was such an interesting storyline it was absolutely brilliant and i highly recommend it and he's also done the most recent captain america run which is obviously such a significant thing for a black author to be writing captain america as Steve Rogers who is obviously one of America's greatest superhero icons and I've recently got it it's currently free on Comixology so unfortunately Tana Hesse won't will not get any money from it but if you do want to get into comics and just see a bit more about the comic book world and stuff like that I highly recommend it it is I reckon it's going to be great I am reading it for Kaboomathon and so you will find out about my thoughts on it in my wrap up but Either way, I'm so excited to read it. It sounds amazing. And the final comic book author I'm going to mention today is also Roxanne Gay, who is also a bisexual woman. For Marvel, she has written The World of Wakanda, which is a tie-in to A Nation Under Our Feet, so I highly recommend that one as well. And she has also done a series called The Banks Outside of Marvel, which is about a family who are going for one last big heist. And so if you like heist books or anything like that, I highly recommend it. It's currently on my wish list and I cannot wait to buy it and read it but that is where I'm going to leave this video here obviously this list is not extensive and the list of black comic book authors anyway is nowhere near as long as it should be but in saying that we can still support the authors that are currently being hired in the hopes that these publishing houses will hire more in the future so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do give me a thumbs up comment down below with your own list i'd love to find more i'll also leave a link down below to all of the articles i found for this so you can check them out along with a whole load of black lives matter information and petitions and donation links and all the rest of it i'll leave all of that link down below and if you want to see any more of my videos next week i will be doing a video all about lgbtqia plus comic book authors please click subscribe here and over here will be the link to my previous video. But until next time guys, bye.